let's turn our attention then to last night and the win against the Pumas. And through Rugby Pass, we've got our, I suppose, the health span elite performer of the week. And the fans saw three big movers, Hoskins Satutu, Ethan Blackadder, and Samasone Tokiaho. Now, JK, when it comes to this five days in terms of preparing for a test match, which player or players made big shifts last night and have made big shifts during the season? Well, we've got, at the moment, we've got four world-class hookers. That, like, unbelievable. And I think there's some a little bit of X factor about Samasoni. You know, I think he had an incredible game. He's aggressive. He carries hard. He's got this beautiful build if you're a hooker. Um, you know, he probably wouldn't be a ballerina, but really hard to tackle. You know, he's got low hips, big mully. Um, he's strong. He's <laughs> aggressive. He accelerates into he accelerates into into contact, and he seems to love that part of the game. You know, um, so so for me, he's been the biggest mover in in a tight group. Um, Ethan Blackadder for me, you know, when he when he got selected, I thought, you know, he's a really hard working. Um, loose forward, but will he be able to step into the school set? He's nailed it. I thought he was outstanding. Um, I think Hoskins will be outstanding. I think he's still got a little bit of growth to do on the defensive side. I think, um, you know, he's spending a bit too much time on the ground. I think he needs to pop to his feet a wee bit more and be a bit more dominant in those defences. So um, I sort of talk about going to the well more and more. He might have been a little bit underdone, but, um, you know, I think all of those those three that have been mentioned for me are the are the biggest movers. I think they've been asked. and 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 a, a special mention because I always do to Rico, um, you know, to play to play wing and then swap to centre and start nailing it. You know, that's not as easy as everyone thinks. So I think you got to you know drop your hat off to him as well. Ruby, was this the great opportunity, the perfect opportunity for some of these young guys to stand out? And were there others, or was it just these three? Oh, yeah, I love J.K. Summer there. Tokyo, how amazing was he? I mean, he literally played his shirt off. Um, and I remember his, his runs at the beginning of the game. I was like, oh, can he can he keep this up? And he absolutely did. His passion and his drive didn't drop once throughout that full 80. Um, geez, Ethan Blackadder for me. I was wondering how he's going to fit in here because Dalton Papili and Akira Ioane worked so well together. I thought, how's he going to, you know, how's he going to play this? And he didn't play like Akira. He didn't play like Dalton. He played like Ethan Blackadder. And I thought he was just outstanding, the full 80. You know, he never did too much, um, but you noticed him. I thought he was awesome. Um, and yeah, I, I agree with JK about Satutu, you know, um, I, I didn't think either of them would be able to get noticed as much as the other two did, but the Blackadder definitely did. So he was a standout Lucy for me. Um, yeah, I agree with Rex, but for me, you know, I've got a, I got a, the people's champ Tupo Wai here, you know, played the full 80 next to, next to the file he looked up to his whole um, career, Patrick. Um, but he was the one who stayed on and he's the one who got two meat pies. I just thought that was such a cool story. Um, I think he really stood out for me. And it's not easy to do from that lock position, you know. Barrett and, um, and Guzzler, they, they stand out at lock and it's not easy to do. And I thought he did. So for me, uh, he was a people's champ. He was the unmentioned. But out of those three you mentioned, I think I'm going to go with Blackadder just because it was so unexpected how well he actually did. Um, full powerhouse for the full 80. So that's, that's my men for the, for the, for the game.